Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we have already finished our project, but I want to show you one more thing. Uh, today we will uh, deploy our MON stack app to the Heroku, and you can see this is my application already deployed on Heroku. It works properly as in my local. Okay, and let's start doing that. And, okay, and okay, and now I will show you how to do it step by step. Firstly, we will create a folder in the root directory. A folder name config, and in this folder we will create three files first is the k.js and dev.js and production.js in in the k in the case of chairs, uh, we will determine um, we will determine the environment if the environment is production. Sorry. We will use we will use the production file. Otherwise we will use the the, the dev file and save it and in the dev.js file we will define the variables We define the um, Mongo UI variable. I will go to the index.js. I will copy this. Okay. I, I use the um, Mongo Cloud, but if you use the um, local Mongo, you can use uh, MongoDB. This is my local host, uh, MongoDB. Okay, I save it. And in the production, we will define the variable for the MongoDB model.exploit MongoDB. We will get the process dot env dot 
Mag I I save it. And the next thing I open the the index.js file I will I import the key file config keys and I will know this connection string is the is that why okay uh, next thing uh, I will navigate to the this client folder I will build sorry client I typed npm run here we will view our front end I open and uh, it's already built you can see uh, this is our view package this is the index HTML file. Uh, then I open the index.js. Okay, I go to the command string. Install the bash. And here we will set up on the environment. If the environment is production, we will status in the production uh, we will run the client as we point to the status folder As you point to the, the view folder, on the client, Send fire result. Directory name client div is we point to the index.html file. We, if we don't have this bunch of calls uh, when we deploy on the Heroku. Our application will point to the back end, but if we add this bunch of code, this will point to uh, the the client. 
Sorry, this must be uh, to equal uh, save. Okay, and in the package.jn file, uh, we will as more config Heroku. Post build npm production equal false npm install brave brave is Client and sorry and npm run build with this client. This configuration will help us to to build our application before deploy to the Heroku. As we install our application and then build our React application, as I show you before. Sorry, uh, I left out here. Now I open the Heroku. This is my. Uh, Heroku account and I will create a new application and stack Cruise David. Okay, and I will press create button. Now I, I go to the setting. I will go. I will config the variable. I will add the Mongo UI case UI and I Go to the default. I press Control Z and I copy this connection string. Can I pass here? Click Add button. This is my Cloud MongoDB. And I click Control Y to back to my local DB. Next, I will add a pill pack. I choose not chairs and I click save. Uh, and I go to deploy and I click on connect to GitHub. This is my GitHub account. I, on, I type run crude. I hit enter. This is my application. I click on connect and I enable automatic deploy uh, whenever you commit the code to GitHub. And I also hit deploy brand. Uh, I select master brand to deploy. Okay, and I will go to my GitHub to commit my code. I use the GitHub desktop uh, to uh, manage my code. And I type Heroku deploy. I hit commit to the master. And 
was origin. And I will go to the activity. Okay, you can see that our application is deploying. Uh, it's automatically deployed because uh, we have already enabled the uh, automatic deploy. We just wait a few minutes and then we will check our application. You can click here so that we can see the deploy progress. Okay, almost done. Okay, we will finish and I click on open app. This is my all Heroku I have deployed. I close this and we have the the newly have Roku deploy. I will test the function. I test the adding function but it's working on our Heroku deploy. Okay, finish. Okay, I click submit. Successful. I back to the landing page. I test the uh, edit function. I pull it. Okay, successful. And I delete some posts. Okay, it's working fine. So we have finished the Heroku deployment for the um, Monster application. And thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you see my tutorial is helpful for you, uh, please help me to uh, like the video, uh, comment if you have any question, or share my video and subscribe my channel to receive my latest tutorial thank you and see you in my next video